Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Timoshenko 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.40. Determine the coordinates XC and YC of the centroid C of the area of one quadrant of circle OAB with radius R. Now our interest is to find the centroid for one quadrant of a circle. So given that it is a circle, to find the centroid of the quarter circle, let us consider a small triangular strip which is at an angle theta from the x axis and let the width of the angle is d theta. It is the shape of the small strip is here. Let us say this is the centroid and this is at a distance of 2r by 3 because it is a right angle triangle. For the right angle triangle, the centroid is here and which is at a distance of 2b by 3 and which is at a distance of 2 h by 3. So from this point the total distance is r hence the centroid this is equal to 2 r by. Now clearly we can see the x centroid of the small strip xz is equal to 2 r by 3 into in fact this xg is equal to 2 r by 3 into cos of theta plus d theta by 2 because we will consider a right angle triangle like this. So this becomes cos theta plus d theta by 2 but d theta by 2 value is very very small so you can neglect compare it to theta. So you will get xg is equal to 2r by 3 into cos theta. Now area of this small strip. So the can clearly we can see it is a, a small right angle triangle. For the right angle triangle the area is equal to half base into height. Now here the base value is r and this is the height. Once again we can clearly see it is in the form of a small sector and for the sector the length is equal to r into d. Hence the area of this strip is equal to half base is r and height is equal to r into d. Now the x coordinate for the quarter circle xc can be calculated by using the formula integral xg da by integral da. You know the meaning of xg, you know the meaning of da. So let us calculate individual. First you will calculate the numerator integral xg da where xg is equal to integral 2r by 3 into cos theta. And integral dA becomes 1 by 2 r into rd. Now the integrand is d theta. So theta limits I need to find. The theta limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2 because it is a quarter set. So in integral xg dA is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2. I will take the constant terms r into r, r square. And another r is there, r cube. This 2, 2 gets cancelled. So you will get r cube by 3 integral 0 to pi by 2 cos theta d theta. You can perform the integration cos theta integration becomes sin theta r cube by 3 sin theta and the limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2. So you will get integral x g dA is equal to r cube by. Similarly, we will try to calculate integral dA. So integral dA is equal to half r into r d theta. So 1 by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 r square d theta and r square I can take outside. Integral d theta becomes theta. 1 by 2 r square theta limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2. You will get pi square by 4. Hence, hence the x coordinate of the centroid for the quarter circle x g is equal to integral x g d a by integral d a r cube by 3 by pi r square by 4 and after simplification you will get the x c value is equal to 4 r by 3 pi this is the x coordinate answer for the same is the case for the y coordinate of the quarter circle centroid of the quarter circle integral y g d a by integral d a integral d a we already calculated as pi, pi r square by 4 now we will try to calculate integral y g dA. So integral y g dA is equal to, by using this right angle triangle y g is equal to 2r by 3 into sin of theta plus d theta. But d theta is very very small compared to theta. So you can say it is 2r by 3 sin theta into dA is equal to 1 by 2 r into r d. And here once again the integrand is a d theta and the theta limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2 because it is a quarter circle. Hence, so it is 0 to pi by 2. Performing the integration, RR gets cancelled. Once again, you will get R cube by 3. Integral sin theta. Integral sin theta is minus cos theta. Limits are varying from 0 to pi by 2. So this gives the value is once again R cube by 3. That is R cube by 3 minus cos pi by 2 minus of minus cos. So cos pi by 2 is anyway 0. Minus into minus plus cos 0 is equal to 1. So you will get 1. So 1 into r cube by 3 r cube. And you calculated integral y g dA as r cube by 3. And you know integral dA is equal to pi r square by. Hence 
the y coordinate for the quarter circle centroid yc is equal to integral yg da by da that is r cube by 3 by pi r square by 4 cube by 3 into 4 by pi r square so you will get to 4 r by 3 pi this is the y coordinate of for the centroid of a quarter circle